Sagittarius, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from the universe. Beautiful soul. This is the time for you. Wow. I can't even control myself. This is so exciting. First of all, what did you ask for in your life? Security, protection, more money, stability, a sense of relief, a sense of freedom. Well, you best believe it's all coming in, beautiful soul. So you got nothing to worry about when it comes to your finances, your job, your career, whatever has been on your mind about growth and just feeling that sense of achievement, maybe a promotion of some kind. It's clearly all coming in for you here in the card. So first card we pulled was the lover's card. Now, initially, I might have thought this was a relationship. Could be energy here. Obviously, the lovers, and it's a general reading. There's always going to be some love energy. But what we're also picking up is that there's a life-changing opportunity that's presenting itself. Either has already uh, recently or it is going to be showing up for you, just depending where you are in the cycle of life. Now, this energy, this new beginning, this life-changing opportunity is going to be something that allows you to connect to your deeper inner strength. That lion energy that you carry within you, Sagittarius. You're a Sagittarius, let's be honest, right? You have this innate power to be able to manifest whatever you want. And whatever you've been thinking about more than anything, this is what is coming through for you now. But hold on, we're going to just, we're just going to pause for a second, remind you that whatever your human mind may think it should look like in terms of what your security should feel like, count that out, right? That's not always how it works. Universe will align us with opportunities that are going to serve us and get us to where we want to go. And half the time, more often than not, it's not what our human brain has conceived. So that's why we never want to be attached to the outcome because it's never going to be that outcome. Sometimes, right? Sometimes, but chances are it's generally not going to look just like what we thought it was going to be. And that's why when you practice visualization or when you practice thinking about what you want, Try to just understand that we, we, we visualize to experience the outcome of what we want, the relationships, the money, the cars, the houses, whatever we want. And we feel the feeling of ecstasy from experiencing it in our mind. Oh, that feels so good. Now hold on to the feeling, but delete the imagery, right? But just hold on to that feeling. That's how true visualization comes into play. So basically what's happening now is this: there's, you're going to be guided right into, again, learning a new skill, taking on a new project, but doing something that clearly lets you know that this is the next step. You're on purpose. Everything is exciting and rewarding. It's the next part, and it's all leading you to your greatest desires. With that star card, just remain in the flow of joy and satisfaction in everything that you do, because that is always the indication you are connected to your higher power, or higher self, I should say, your high priestess self, your divinity of the of the non-physical remember there are two components of you if we don't want to get too esoteric here to eastern philosophy we can just there's two components of you okay and and uh there's your higher self and then there's your earth self right and so the higher self guides your earth self the earth self actually doesn't need to do much us as earth Earth means, I don't know why I do that every time but it's fun uh, and so our earth selves are just need to be aware of what is leaving us feeling creative, joyful, satisfied, inspired. And, you know, sometimes we got to get creative with this when we're in a dark place. I know for me, I had to get creative with it. So I used um, creating new recipes, keeping the house organized as my form of satisfaction, right? Maybe, you know, having some fun with a little plant medicine and, you know, just take removing some of those layers a little bit, you know, kind of seeing the deeper truth. It helps with us or helps with that, I should say. Um, you know, plants are medicine. And um, so whenever we are looking for clarity or deeper truth, we can go to plants. So if you eat animals in your day-to-day -day diet, great. If you ever want more clarity, maybe take a little plant cleanse. If you eat plants on the regular, wonderful. You know what it feels like then. So at the end of the day, 
right now, all that's necessary is for you to, oh, this is so good. You are, oh my gosh, you are going to be meeting your soul family. Like this feels so good in my heart. I'm so happy for you. I really, really am. You're going to be meeting your soul family. If you've been finding yourself just uncertain about who your people are, that is all going to come, that is all going to be wiped away. So if you've been having a hard time connecting to your friends or your family, uh, that's all right. Sometimes we're not actually here to be to our people necessarily aren't always our friends and family, uh, you know, for the long term, a lot of the times they are. And a lot of the times our intention of coming here or our, what, what gives our life meaning is to get, connect to our friends and family, but also sometimes we need to have a, a, a soul family that when we go to and we vibe with that energy, we get an energy boost back. I know that always happens for me when I listen to um, any beings uh, that are channeled, uh, Abraham Hicks, Bashar, I feel that energy from, from that being expressing that message. And it's like my soul people, I'm like, oh, this feels so good, right? And then I come back to my earth life and then I'm recharged up for my soul family and I'm able to kind of, you know, know who I am, stand my ground amongst the earth beings that sometimes are disconnected from their true selves. Then I don't, then I can feel that density of their negativity, feel the density of them being disconnected. But because I was recalibrated to my soul family energy, I am able to stand my ground and immediately have my protection barrier up. And that basically just means I see the, the negative energy, I feel it, and I release it. So even though I may feel negative energy and I may want to run with it because it's very seductive, you feel negative energy from someone and immediately your thoughts go into all the negative thinking that you might have practiced prior from being in that frequency in other situations uh, or just immediately negative thinking. Trust me when I say when you're, when the negative thinking starts, you've absorbed negative energy from another being. It's not your natural state of being. So when you are in a negative state, you are un, you're not calibrated to your higher self. Just remember that. Super important to remember that because it's, we're not our negative thoughts. It's not who we are. It's just energy that we've allowed in. And a lot of the times it's from not just grabbing it right away and cleansing it. So I always visualize white, uh, like, you know, if light hits a diamond or a crystal and it kind of shoots out all over the wall. So the light comes in and just explodes everywhere. That's kind of what I visualize when I feel, I feel light coming in maybe through my third eye or crown chakra. And then I go through each of my chakras and just have that light come in and explode out and just cleanse immediately. It completely bypasses any negative energy. So if ever, um, someone around me is expressing themselves expressing their unhappiness with themselves out into the world. And I feel that that just means that I need to have the extra cleanse going on, but stand my ground. Having a, uh, the soul family connection will do that. So either way, it's all coming in. You are going to be connecting to your passion, connecting to your flame, right? This is the pro this, this, this next chapter that you're on is, is doing that for you. And isn't it funny because this 2024 has been a doozy. Let me tell you, it's been absolutely wild here on planet earth. The energies have been crazy, but 2025 is going to be a blast. We just feel it. Both my husband and I are like 2025 is going to be like the year end of 2024 as well. But but 2025, my friends, my brothers and sisters, it, it, it's going to be insane. So right now, whatever you're called to do, whatever you feel compelled to do, have, have fun in the process of it. Keep up with your writing practices. Keep up with your gratitude. Keep up with that morning journal routine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the read from two reads ago not last read, but the read before. Uh, and I explained what my process is to connect myself back to my higher self, keep myself there. Now is the, right, the, the time to move forward with your inspirations, basically with the message of the unicorn. Um, and, and don't poo poo the unicorns. Okay. I know some of you are rolling eyes on oh, unicorns. Here we go. Have you read, seen that movie, the Shazam movie, the second one where there's like that black unicorn badass. Okay. Those are the, my unicorns. Okay. They're like black and they're there's a unicorn in here somewhere, but those are badass. I have some of those unicorns and some, oh, there's a movie. It's called The Last Unicorn. It was like an old Disney movie. If I was born in the 90s, 1990. So if any of you relate, there's this movie, kids movie called The Last Unicorn. They also look like that. Just told so many beautiful unicorns. So anyway, unicorns are real. Don't poo-poo them. So your situation right now does not need to be, you don't need to overthink it. At the end of the day, we, again, the earth self doesn't actually need to think 
about how to get something done, make something happen, worry about something. That's not what our function was designed for, being in the earth self, the brain self. All we have to do is tune into how our heart is feeling. Is it open? Is it closed? And we need the, the objective in life is to live life with an open heart while still having, again, protective mechanisms. So when we, our hearts are open and we feel negative dense energy and we want to go into negative thinking, we catch that energy, say, I see you, I feel you, I release you. And then our, our thinking goes back to commanding presence of whatever it is we're doing, staying focused on point. If you have tons of things you're doing in your life, that's going to be hard to do because you're constantly going to be doing this and you're not going to be paying attention to your heart at all, right? So when we have minimal things we're doing, simple, right? Simple is the key. Then we can always be in uh, presence with ourselves and have our heart open, right? It's not your function to overthink the higher self is guiding us we just have to be in the flow of what where our higher self is guiding us right and when you're always in the flow of joy and satisfaction you know you're calibrated to your higher self we love you so much we hope you enjoyed your reading we hope there were messages in here for you and if there was like and subscribe we truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you and until our next reading keep shining baby